In today's highly saturated sports video gaming marketplace, gamers can play almost any sport they want. From football, soccer, baseball, skateboarding, wakeboarding, fishing, jet skiing, and volleyball, just to name a few. But none of these sporting titles have eaten up more hours in freshman dorms and living rooms across the nation than hockey. What makes these puck and ice games so popular? And why does it feel so good to do this and this? One of the first major hockey titles was 1987's Blades of Steel for the Nintendo Entertainment System. This was one of the first to highlight fighting, or at least the crowds into it. Later that year, superstar ice hockey hit the Commodore 64 with silly looking players and, uh, well, horrible graphics. Wait, how many teams are on the ice? Purple, blue, never mind. In 1992, parent groups and politicians were up in arms over the inclusion of blood in NHL 93's The Genesis. That was a big deal? Yeesh. Mutant League Hockey raised its mutated head on the Sega Genesis in 1993. In this arcade style classic, players didn't just get injured, they died. In 1994, Mario Lemieux Hockey made its debut in the Genesis and their puck antics that defy the laws of physics. Fast-paced blue ice action is the mainstay of this title. Speaking of player-endorsed games, the great one himself, Wayne Gretzky, put his moniker on one of the hottest arcade-style titles ever in 1996 in Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey for the N64. Sweet glowing puck action and high scores were the norm in this game. Maybe not as high scoring, but high on the action meter with NHL 98 for the PS1. This wasn't the last NHL game on the PS1, but it was one of the best. With its smooth graphics engine and lightning fast responses, it was a definite highlight in the series. The NHL series offered up its first venture onto the PS2 in 2001 with NHL 2002. Thanks to the PS2, helmets never looked so shiny. Adding to the realism, as play progressed, the ice actually began to show the effects of the relentless grinding for players' ice skates. If pounding hits and big shots are your thing, then NHL Hits 2002 was a must play. Hits put the emphasis on checks and scoring and less on real world physics. Hey, can you do that? Coming full circle back to 2003-2004, we've seen games like NHL Rivals on the Xbox. In NHL 2004, we saw detailed hockey physics and emotion. See how his coach reacts? Don't be a wuss, kid. NHL Rivals takes wear and tear to the next level with boards that show the effects of constant abuse. And check this dude out. Nothing says pro hockey like a face full of stubble. What'll come next in the world of hockey video games? We'll see. But thanks to technological advances throughout the years, this has become this.